Hi, uh, welcome to the uh, one of the classic problem, art gallery problem, the demonstration of that problem. I'll be talking, I'll be talking and uh, going through an overview of this art gallery problem. Now, what is art gallery problem? This is actually a well-known problem in visibility uh, problems in computational geometry and uh, it actually originates from a real life problem. Now, suppose you have an art gallery where you need to place cameras or you need to place guards, etc. Now, how many minimum number of cameras of guard you can place so that the whole art gallery is covered or observed? Now, whenever you say covered or observed, that's actually visibility problem. So, basically, you need to place guards such a way that every point in this art gallery is being observed. Now, let's let's assume that this is a uh, camera that is being placed in this particular corner. And now, what are the points this guy can observe? Now he can only observe a set of points, uh, a set, let's say a set, mathematical set of points P such that a line segment connecting this particular point where the camera is being placed to any points which are in, inside this particular set does not leave that polygon. So if you think of a point here, does this point being uh, covered by this uh, camera or is it is this point visible from this camera? So if you connect a line segment like this, that line segment leaves the art gallery at this particular hole here, right? So that means this point is not visible from this particular uh, camera. Now, that's why this is a uh, well-known visibility problem, right? So that's why you need to place cameras such a way and what is the minimum number of cameras you can place so that you can optimize the cost uh, uh, so that uh, the whole art gallery is covered, right? Or how many cards you can place, right? Now, uh, now, basically, art gallery is a 3D uh, uh, problem, but we can obviously extend this concept to 3D also. But first, we'll discuss the two-dimensional approach to solve this problem. Discuss, or I'll be giving a brief demonstration as part of the real-life uh, problems and system design uh, through algorithm and data structure. Now, uh, now, which is also available in Udemy uh, course, uh, right? So now, uh, so first thing. Uh, about uh, uh, solving this art gallery problem is a polygon triangulation. Now, if you think of any simple polygon can be triangulated. That is the first thing you need to know that any simple polygon can be triangulated. And if the polygon has, uh, let's say, n vertices, that simple polygon will have, uh, that polygon triangulation will have exactly n minus 2 number of polygon triangulation. But remember, this is a simple polygon, so non intersecting kind of polygons. So if you have non-intersecting kind of polygons, then you will have triangles uh, decomposition of that polygon which is intersecting. So that polygon decomposition, the meaning of that uh, into a polygon triangulation, the meaning of that is that when you triangulate that polygon into multiple triangles, you, when you co-join all those triangles, that will again form that particular polygon P, so which is the case in simple polygon, but in case of intersecting polygon, that's a more complex thing to do. So we'll be showing it for, I'll be showing it for uh, uh, a simple polygon, right? Now, every simple polygon admits triangulation, that's what I told you. Now, I'll be showing you the method, which is there are a lot of way to triangulate a polygon. The first, uh, first um, uh, demonstration, which I'll be giving is for the ear clipping problem. Now, the ear clipping uh, way of triangulation is pretty simple way of triangulating a simple polygon. It arises from the fact that any four vertices, if you think of, which uh, consist of a polygon, uh, consist of a simple polygon, any four vertices, which is a simple polygon, right? So that will have two triangles inside it, or two ears, or you can think of, uh, inside that particular polygon, right? And that we can remove one ear by uh, one ear at each point, and we can again have a polygon which again can be triangulated, which by mathematical induction, we can prove that any simple polygon can be triangulated. Let's say this is a simple polygon, which is, uh, if you consider these four vertices, now uh, it will consist of two years, right? Now, when you are, whenever you are thinking of year, you need to consider this, let's say, three point, and this particular edge connecting this two point, let's say P, Q, R, so if you connect P and R, right, so that edge P and R will be completely inside this simple polygon, as well as there should not be any point vertices of the polygon inside this triangle as well. So let's see that that is the first thing uh, I've written this code in Java. So uh, uh, for, and uh, I'll increase the thread time a little bit. Now let's draw a polygon. 
right? So if you draw a polygon like that, right? So let's make it a little complex. Now the first thing we'll be doing a uh, ear clipping. So if you do a ear clipping, so if say if you are uh, do a ear clipping, and uh, the thing is, ki one of the advantage when you are clear doing this polygon, we are making this polygon. We know that polygon is made clockwise, and so our vertices is already topologically sorted, right? So now uh, we can consider these three points, and you can see that if this edge is completely inside that polygon, it, and no other points like this yellow one is. Uh, part of the this polygon and not inside this triangle. Then only we can triangulate this uh, particular. Uh, th then only we can remove this particular ear and we can have a new polygon, right? So this is the first step towards doing that, which is triangulation. I'll make it little faster so it goes on little faster, right? Uh, and triangulation will be done. So once the triangulation is found, we have found the triangulation, and I have also um, given some ID to these triangles, which might be useful in later part uh, when we are doing some other uh, type of uh, triangulation, right? Now, once this polygon is triangulated without adding any extra vertices that we need to remember, we need to three color this uh, particular, uh, uh, particular uh, uh, what do you say, polygon, right? Now, when you are doing a three coloring of this particular polygon, now, one thing you need to consider is the dual graph that is being formed due to this triangulation. And once you have done the three coloring, you will see that every triangle will have all the three colors. And also, the, also this whole, uh, dual graph or the dual graph of the triangulation will follow the M coloring properties so such that two vertices which are ad adjacent to each other does not have the same color. So such, now once you have done this way, the three coloring, so every triangle will have this, uh, three colors. And, uh, so every triangle can be guarded by any one of these three colored guards. So let's say this three color is like three types of guard or three types of cameras. So the minimum number of uh, uh, minimum number of guards or cameras that will be required is the minimum number of color uh, that is uh, that is uh, covering this whole triangulation. So that's the thing uh, we need to find out, right? So, uh, uh, so let's say we do a three coloring of this art gallery. Now I have used a DFS based uh, backtracking uh, algorithm, which are uh, going through these vertices uh, in a clockwise manner, right? So let's say this is green. Now this guy will try to uh, put it a blue here and it will find a uh, three coloring uh, stuff. Now I, uh, the, the thread time was very fast, so you could not see. It actually does a backtracking to find that uh, three coloring, right? So that's again al algorithm of graph coloring. So first you need to have the dual graph of this triangulation and then the, you have to color this with three coloring. Now, if you see the number of colors, the minimum number of colors, which is covering all those vertices. Now let's count the green, one, two, three, four, five. So five green guards is required to cover this whole polygon. Similarly, if you see blue, there are one, two, three, four, five blue is required. And if you see red, which is one, two, three. So minimum number of guards that is required is three guards or three cameras, which can cover the whole polygon. But also the assumption here is that every guard or camera can cover 360 degree at the same point, because this red, if you consider is, you will be covering this triangle, this triangle, this triangle, ID one, ID 10, nine, and all those triangles you'll be covering at the same time, right? Yeah, ID zero as well, right? So that is the assumption. So that's why there, there, there are variation of art gallery problem, which I'll be uh, demonstrating in later uh, later uh, videos, which are much, much more interesting when you give a constraint that this guy cannot uh, watch see, more than 60 degree at a time or more than 90 degree at a time, something like that, right? So now if you do a deploy guard, so let's say how the red uh, is, uh, how red is going to watch all these triangles, right? So red is going to cover this triangle, this triangle, this triangle, as I was mentioning, so only deploying three guards, it can cover the whole polygon, right? So let me decrease the uh, time uh, of uh, this uh, deployment, right? So then uh, this guy is covering this, this guy is covering. So you can see only with the three guards, the whole polygon is being covered, right? So that is the first uh, demonstration I wanted to give of the ear clipping method. Obviously, that there are more efficient way of doing that, which is a monotone polygon based approach. So once you have decomposed this poly polygon 
a whole polygon into multiple monotone pieces. Now, any monotone polygon uh, can be uh, triangulated in a much, much simpler way. A uh, monotone uh, simple polygon, you just need to uh, draw uh, all the diagonals from one vertice to all the other vertices, right? So, that's, a, that's the way you can actually uh, 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 decompose this uh, monotone simple convex polygon. Now, obviously, you can... Uh, you can have multiple, uh, you can decompose this polygon into multiple convex polygons, simple convex polygon, and also do that. Also, you can do monotone, or uh, you can try to find all the types of vertices, like merge vertices, merge, split, start, end, split vertices, and we can try to uh, draw diagonals from them and uh, try to uh, triangulate that as well, right? So, we'll see that in the later half of the videos. Uh, till then, bye from me, and hope to see you in my Udemy course. Uh, real-life problems and system design through algorithm and DS. Bye.